given the, the, the tight call right now, what are you saying to your clients about this? Well, I have to admit, um, my parents live north of the border and I spend a good deal of time up there, including uh, two weeks this summer. And this is an issue I've been worried about since the beginning of the year. And actually, I've been talking to my clients about it since the beginning of the year. Um, and some clients who've been looking to invest more money in the UK, we've decided to hold off until after the uh, referendum result has been in. Um, and we've been looking at some of our holdings and thinking about the, the possibilities. I think the major risk is just more political uncertainty, which markets don't like. OK, so more political uncertainty. We talk, clearly, we're talking about Scotland. Clearly, you're talking about if we get a no, what happens then? Um, we then talk about the, uh, the uncertainty of an election in the UK. If the Tories get in, a referendum on Europe, it goes on and on. What, what do you, to, you're trimming your positions in cyclicals. I know that. What in particular? So in the beginning of the year, we trimmed a lot of our positions in cyclicals. We felt they'd run quite far and um, a lot of the sort of multiples that they were on were looking quite high. So things like some of the retailers and some of the industrial stocks. Uh, we've had a lot of them react to um, what's um, to, to this and, and a lot of the valuations have come down. And we're looking to add to cyclical positions where we also think there's a bit of a self-help story. So, um, you know, some holdings in the media sector we're looking at and we're even sort of starting to look at some of the house builders where things might have got a bit overdone. What, what do you make of uh, fin financials right now? Um, insurers, I, I, I believe you, th you still think are OK. And, and the banks, could, could, a, um, could a yes vote scupper plans for, for, for stake sales? I think we're not really going to see significant stake sales, especially from RBS, this side of a general election. Um, and I certainly think that if we have, we wake up on the 19th to a yes vote, and um, we're going to need some quite fast reactions from the Bank of England in particular about where these banks can be domiciled. And um, a lot of the banks have been talking to me a while about this issue of deposit flight. So banks are facing a number of uncertainty litigation, fines, this political uncertainty. So despite the fact that long term there could be some value there, I think these short term hit headwinds remain a risk. Insurers, on the other hand, are um, less exposed to this um, and there's still some good opportunities for dividend growth and dividend support, which we like. So we're happy um, keeping our overweights in these.